Basically, I'm going to try to explain the difference between how traditional pharmaceutical research works and why Hofset is so different in the way we approach um, research. So in traditional pharmaceutical research, you start with a disease and you say, you think about what is the mode of action that causes that disease? What is the m reason for that disease? And when you find the mode of action um, based on a lot of biological research, then you go a step back and you say, okay, how do I find something that interacts with that mode of action, that disrupts or increases that mode of action, depending on what we need? Um, and then what you do is you run through hundreds of thousands of lead compounds in this in vitro cellular assay that you've developed as a model for an animal assay that you've developed as a model for the disease in humans. Which is why you see in traditional pharmaceutical research um, you have to study hundreds of thousands of compounds then you get some leads which are in the cellular system and those leads fall out of the way because of other reasons and when they're in animals and then they fall out until you're in the human and eventually you get a drug. But the process is very long and with lots of places where you fail. Hofstede Biocare is completely the opposite of that, 180 degrees the opposite of that. We have a raw material uh, which is natural, salmon. Um, we have processes that make our compounds which are non-GMO, again natural. And the resultant lead structures that we create through our system um, are all peptides. And uh, peptides and proteins are much safer, for, because they're natural products, are much safer for, for, for human and animal consumption. Which means that instead of starting with the disease and working our way backwards, we start with the compounds, give it straight into an in vivo system, an animal, a dog, a pig, a chicken, and then a healthy animal. And then we look for biomarkers, for changes in the body of that animal um, that reflects the diseases that we know about. So we look for inflammation, we look for changes in um, proteins, in, we look for changes in gene regulation, all of which then we look for the disease that could be impacted. So it's completely the opposite, right? We don't look at the disease and go backwards to so cure the disease. We give our series of compounds and look to see what diseases could be impacted. That's kind of the difference between us. Mm.